Township County Commissioner. We're the uh, pass-through agency locally. So I want to be very good. Very good. Very very good. good. Yes, sir. We just yes. Okay. Great. My yeah. pleasure. Okay. Hey, Bob, good to see you, sir. Nice to meet you, Governor. Fred McDonald. Fred, good to see you, sir. How have you been? Great. Actually, I can't get some physical problems. We don't need to go there now. I went from zero pills a year ago to a little old man thing this morning, but other than that, Fred. Hello, how are we doing? Nice to meet you. Yeah, she's somewhere here. All right. I welcome everybody. Thank you uh, for coming today. Um, it's an honor for everyone to have, uh, to have the governor of the state of West Virginia here in the city of Wheeling. It's a thrill for us. You know, the governor uh, helped us out a lot last year of vetoing some legislation we took some issue with down, uh, down in Charleston. Actually made a trip up last year. I would really appreciate that. I think we return the favor a little bit, uh, supporting the road bond by a pretty hefty margin up here. We're really excited about that road bond. Uh, we have a lot of interstates that need a lot of work. Uh, but the governor's in town today for another reason. Of, uh, several reasons, actually. He has a special guest to welcome here at Welcome. I know you got to get up there pretty soon. Uh, but he's here to, uh, to issue a, a grant for the Community uh, Corrections Program, a very, very important program uh, providing alternative uh, means of uh, correction. So, with no further ado, ladies and gentlemen, uh, at the 36th Governor of the State of West Virginia, at Governor Jim Justice. It's always good for me coming to Wheeling. You know, I, I've, I've even got, uh, I talked to the superintendent of schools and my basketball team, my girls' basketball team, is going to play Wheeling Park up here and then they're going to come to Greenbark County and play us down there. So that's going to be fun. But uh, the reason I say it's fun to come is because Wheeling is a uh, terribly important city. And it seems like that uh, you're turning the right switches in the right way. Now, you know, we've got a check to present that, you know, is going to aid in the development and the helping of an alternative way of corrections and all kinds of good stuff like that. But let me just, before we do that, let me just tell you this. No matter what anyone would say, our state's really turning around. And there's good things that are really happening. Really good things. Measurable things that are happening. Now, there's a lot of people that deserve a lot of credit, but at the end of the day, you know, for good or for bad, you know, when, when I rolled in on 18 months ago, and somebody shoved, shoved me a set of books, you know, I'm a business guy, and I, I get it. And it was, it was terrible. It was beyond belief terrible. And so along the way, we had some real soul searching to do. And we could have we could have opted out for the alternative of just saying, well, we just are gonna to have to live within our means and we're just about to make massive other cuts. Eliminate the dogs and eliminate a lot of things that uh, we some way somehow held on to. It wasn't easy to do. You know, I had this idea about the road bonds that it would create instant jobs. But I have to give credit to, the, to, to great legislatures, like our great senator and on and on and on, that, uh, that really stood up. Stood up when things were really tough. You know, past right to work law, Passed, you know, prevailing wage stuff, and and uh, or got rid of prevailing wage stuff. Things that were just, honestly, just like the foundations of something. And as we were moving, moving slow, slow, slow. But all of a sudden, then you've got 
the catalyst, and that's really, I guess, what I was in a lot of ways, you know. I came on the scene, and lo and behold, we started to change education. We started to change our image. We really had an idea that was an incredible idea that I give the good Lord complete credit for because it could not have come from me. It was too good an idea on the roads. And so all of a sudden, we're off and running. And we've got a president with the relationship that I have with the president and everything, and he's helping. So lo and behold, guess what's happening? This state is cooking. Now, we've still got a lot to do. Now, I mean, there are still tons to do. But if you'll just step back and say, are we making progress on the, in the education world that we are? You know, have we turned the red numbers to black? And they have. Every single month, it's the beatingest thing in the world, but every month, you know, <laughs> we forecast what the numbers are going to be, and, it's, and we push it to the limit, and the numbers come in better. You know, let me tell you this. The drug situation is better. Is it corrected? No way. Do we still have a long ways to go? Long ways to go. But it's better. And you know how I know it's better? I know it's better by just people that are applying for jobs and able to pass drug tests. You know, really and truly, two years ago, if on our operations, no matter where they may be, whether it be in hospitality or in mining or construction or whatever it may be, if we would have 10 applicants that we would think would be qualified and send 10 to get a drug test, two would pass. Today, six or seven will pass. It's getting better. The world is starting to look at you in Cleveland. In all these northern counties, the world is looking at you right now and saying, you know what? West Virginia may not just be that dark, dingy, backward state. West Virginia may very well be something that we've missed, a hidden secret that abounds in opportunities, abounds in natural resources like crazy. We know that. We know it has four of the most beautiful seasons on the planet. But some way somebody said, hey, that place is located within 600 miles and two-thirds of the population on in, in, on, on, on in the United States. So the market, they're within a rock star of the market, and they got all the natural resources, and they got this beautiful, beautiful seasons that could explode tourism. And you know what else? We have known this forever, but those people know how to work. Those people have real values. Those people, that state's low crime. That state is beautiful beyond belief. Now, and they abound with craftsmen. So all of a sudden, and then they say these kind of things. They say, you know, we would have never believed that, that state could have possibly gone out and voted, I mean, just overwhelmingly to pass a road bond of $3 billion on them. So they're building roads everywhere. They got people to work all over the place. They've done stuff for the veterans. They just exempted all their retirement. That state's moving. And all of a sudden, that hope or image or that look, you know, that state was always perceived maybe as backward. And now that state's putting the focus on education and shoving that right to the forefront. Lo and behold, all of a sudden it happens. Today, we have, I don't know if it's two times or six times, but we have multiples of times of jobs that we're having a difficult time trying to fill. Think about that in West Virginia. I mean, it's fact. It's absolute fact. You've got the the gas, from a construction standpoint, you've got the gas, you've got the mining, and you've got the roads, and it's exploding, and everybody's scrambling like crazy trying to find, trying to 
glean off one guy that is at the gas that they can get to the roads or the roads that they can get to the mine. And all of a sudden, tourism now. We rolled out the numbers yesterday on tourism. Now imagine this. We in West Virginia are growing at a rate from June to June of 16%. The national average was 1.7. Think about it. Just think about what's happening. It's happening right here. In all honesty, there's no braggadocious part of me. I'm a humble kind of guy, you know, but it is happening. And so I would say Wheeling, northern part of the state, all of our great counties up here, whether it be Hancock or Brook or whatever it may be, you know, buckle up because it's happening right in front of you. And it's going to be a ride like you can't imagine. Let's just don't get in our own way and stop it. Because in very short order, the snowball will be rolling so fast and getting so big that we won't be able to stop the goodness. Think about that in West Virginia. Think about somebody sitting in front of you saying, you're not going to be able to stop the goodness. How long has it been that all we've done is say, whew, I don't know what we're going to do. Bonds be raised. Rainy day already taken down to a level that we can't go any lower. You know, we keep running deficit after deficit. More population leaves. The only state in the country that's losing population. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? It isn't that way now. And so I would say celebrate. Got a lot of work still to do. This is an absolute keystone of the northern part of the state right here. So, so I, I just, I couldn't be more happy, you know. I wouldn't be coming up here to get my brains beat out in a basketball game if I wasn't, if I wasn't happy. Because <laughs> they're good. They're really good. And so, but we can give it the best we can. But let me give you this check today. And, and if one of y'all would, I don't know who's going to come and get this, but this is for 450000 and we're very proud to give you this because I know you're doing great, great, great work. And the other thing is if you can cash this at the bank like this, <laughs> you're better than I. <laughs> so again, I congratulate you on all the great stuff you're doing. You're doing good stuff, really, really good stuff. And so uh, just keep at it. Just keep making all of us proud, you know. So. Thank you so much. Okay, that's yours. <laughs> Thank you. All right. I don't have anything else, Senator. You got anything?